here is the re review of Transformers Beast Wars Walmart exclusive Megatron. Now, as you can see, he is obviously, as you can tell, a purple Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex. Now, th th this is th the, the original Beast Wars Megatron figure that came out in 1995, but the differences with the Walmart exclusive here versus the original one is the original one was a more lighter purple, whereas this one is is just purple. Like, it's all purple. And this is exactly how it looks like uh, on the show. But the original one is a lot lighter purple. Which is not, not so show accurate. And there is a, a difference in the paint sculpt, but but we're going to get to that in r robot mode. And that's only on one thing, J just one pa paint apps. That, that they did for the Walmart exclusive that the original one that does not have. But, but for the T-Rex mode itself, it, it does look really n nice. He, he has some, some red eyes on him. And, and some white paint on his teeth. And on the top, he does have some some green on the top and, and it's going all the way to the tip of the tail and he does have some on his head here and he does have some like, like a t t tan paint on the bottom of his belly here and also the bottom of his tail here. And some white paint on his toenails here. And, oh, and he does have some, some like wrinkles on, on the whole the dino mode, like, like on the sides of his body here, 
and some wrinkles here. and some here on both sides. And uh, all around, it, it does look really cold. Now, th this purple T-Rex, if you, well, if this purple T-Rex does look f f familiar to you, th this is like r r ripping off from Barney, the, the dinosaur, but, but, but this is like a more serious version of Barney, the, the, the dinosaur. Whereas Barney is, is a friendly d dinosaur, the, this one is a more serious purple dinosaur. Now, now he does have some articulations and that is his head does like So, sort of move. What what I mean is, he he doesn't look left or right. It only turns in uh, on this joint here. The only problem with it is that it breaks up. The, the skull, like the, the spines here of the T-Rex. And his dino arms are on ball joints. And his legs here They can bend here at the knee and swivel at the knee. And his toes can move up and down. And his mouth does open As you can see, his mouth does open, but when you let it go, it closes shut because it's spring-loaded. That's because he, he does ha have a, a, a squirt gun gimmick. What I mean by that is if you come underneath here and rip out his throat, you can see this right here, which is his tongue. You would press it and it would squirt out some 
water. And, and to fill up the, the, the tongue with water, you would open up this little white cap and then fill it up with water. And then you would push this back and it would squirt out some water. But to have this squirt out with this on him, to, to reinsert this back in, you do have to make sure you open up his mouth because his tongue needs to feed through here. But the way you would make it squirt it out in dino mode is when you pull back on on the top dino head these two purple things will push back and it would pull back on the tongue and it will help you squirt out the water and the way these two purple things are making his tongue pull back is on is on these two little red pegs these two red pegs are are what's are what's making these two purple stems pull back on the tongue here. So, I, I think that that's about it for the, the dino mode. So now time to transform him. So to get him transformed, you do want to take the dino arms and rotate them back. And you do want to take these, slide these out, and rotate them down. And, and if it hasn't done so already, you do want to take the, this top piece here of the dino mode and separate it in half and bring these down and you could see his robot mode chest here and, and you do want to take this piece here and fold it down and now you're gonna well for, for the tail here you want to untap these from these pegs into these holes here and, 
and you can now extend out the tail which will close the, the, the top part of the tail which will make the, the, the top part of the tail come down. Then you want to take his his robot mode body and extend it up. And you do want to you do want to make sure that these black things are folded out. Then you want to take his dino legs which are now his robot mode legs and rotate them down and then you want to take these and bring these back rotate the, the robot mode chest around and you do want to take his head right here and bring it up and it will click into place. Then bring up the robot mode chest and make sure that these are pushed in because these black tabs on both sides are going to go into the holes on the inside of his chest and I don't know if y'all can see it but they are there oh there, there they are there they are those rectangle holes right there Just like that. And now you want to take these and rotate these back up and push them in. Rotate his knees around and on the bottom of his feet you do want to flip out these heel spurs. Now for his arms, you want to take the T-Rex arm and bring it down. And then for the tail here, you just want to rotate it around and bring it down. And also what, what I like to do with this is I like to bring it up and bring this down and close these up so that this will help lock it into place. But, but there is an issue that I have with mine of the tail arm here.
but but we'll get to that when we get to the g g gimmicks. And for his head, you want to rotate it around, and you could see he has one of those m m mutant faces. But to reveal his his real face, you just want to take the mutant face, split it in half, and open them up, and there's his real head. And you're done. And his robot mode does look great, but I do have some issues with it, and that is he has like not not a lot, but but some kibble on him. Like these things here, and also these things, which does like count kibble. But I wish that that they would d do something to help not not have a lot of k kibble on him. Well, he he doesn't like have a whole lot of kibble on him. He he just has some on him. Not not a lot, just a little bit of kibble on him. Now, the, the, the differences in the painting of the Walmart exclusive versus the original one is his robot mode head here. Uh, on the original one, his head was all a silver paint, but here it's just all black. black. Which is weird. And, and yes, I, I, I know his head was all black in the show, but it does have bits of pur purple on it. But here, it it the the whole head is a black paint, but the face is pur purple paint. And I, I wish it had like a little bit more pur purple on it instead of just the, the face.
and he, he still has some purple on him, but he does have a lot of bl bl black on him to help break up a lot of this pur purple. And he does have some more purple paint on his elbows here. And also his waist here. Oh, and another problem I have with it is I wish that there was some paint on his chest and some paint on his thighs here. Because in the show, he had some paint on his chest and his thighs here. And also, his chest in the show was all purple and not bl black, like, like this one is. Which, which is weird, but... Oh, okay. And that that's about it for the robot mode. So for articulation, head is on a ball joint, but it does get A little bit hindered by these things here, which were halves of the mutant face. His arms can rotate around on a ratchet, move in and out. They do have a bicep swivel and elbow joint, but the, this elbow here that has the T-Rex arm is a bit limited due to the, this thing getting in your way. And it does swivel here, which was the, the one that, that I showed you in his the dino mode. But, but this arm here can, can bend his elbow with no problems. And if I get these out of the way, he does have a waist swivel, which is on a soft ratchet. But these things sometimes do get in the way. Legs move forward and back on a ratchet. Move in and out on a ratchet. Bend at the knee. Swivel at the knee. and his toes can move up and down.
that's it. Now for the the features, because yes, he he does have some features in r robot mode. the The first feature is you can still use that squirt gun gimmick here, like I showed you in dinosaur mode. But this arm here is a claw weapon. And, and what you're supposed to do is there is a button here on the back. And when you push it, it's supposed to make this move back in this part to move also and you get a claw weapon and I've tried to do that on mine oh Oh, it, it actually it does work. I, I was about to say, I, I do have a problem with this on mine. But, but I think it's working really well. But, but it can sometimes be a little tricky to do but but when you push on this button it does help move his tail C claw weapon thing and as you can see it if you have it fully extended well I, I was about to say to, to collapse this all the way in and not have this fully extended is you would bring this back and then close this up and that would lock it into place but but mine keeps going forward so what I do which some of y'all have seen is I like to take these things here and close these up and that helps lock it into place And the last feature that he has is on these hip pieces here, he does have some purple buttons here. And when you push them, it shoots out these anchor things, which he did use in the show. And I think he used it like multiple times in the show. But if he only used these once or multiple times, let, let me know in the comment section below.
And that's about it. So, final thoughts. His beast mode is really great. And I also like how it's a lot more show accurate compared to the original one. Because the original one was a more lighter blue. Or, or lighter purple is what I meant to say. Which is not show accurate. But this one is a purple a purple plastic on him, which is a lot show accurate. And the robot mode does look great, but I wish that there was some some more pain apps on him. And and the claw weapon on this arm can be a little bit tr tricky to do when you're trying to 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 work it so I think that's about it. So, there you have it. Oh, what, one more thing I forgot to show you is for a size comparison, here he is next to Optimus Primal. So you can see how they look together. Now, They're not com the the scale here is not really show accurate because Megatron is supposed to be a lot taller compared to Optimus Primal, but it it is what it is. So, I think that's about it. So, there you have it. Transformers Beast Wars Walmart exclusive Megatron. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you want to check out my other videos you may have missed, I did set up a playlist. So that way you don't have to miss any other videos. So I think that's about it. So thanks for watching.